Where'd I go? There I am. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my stream. My name is Jeff Fritz. Whatever time it might be where you are, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It is March 31st, 2019, and we're going to write a little bit of code today. I've got, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. I got brand new Philadelphia Phillies hat, right? This is their spring training hat that they wear. Uh, it's got the Liberty Bell, right? That's a sign of American independence. Founded, cracked, all that right here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my hometown. So, uh, so uh, happy with our our Phillies so far this year, two and zero, uh, and they look to be really good this year. For those of you that follow baseball, I'm uh, I'm really excited about it. Wow, we got a lot of friends in the chat room already. Check it out over there. My gosh, Crows is here. Yeah, Crows, uh, you were close to first. I think Robert Tables beat you, Rambling Geek and Smab. Hey, Carrie, good to see you. Static KR, hello. Uh, Ryolite, it's not commands, it's help. Maybe I can set up an alias for that. That's not a bad idea. Avandro is here, hello. Staker4, how you doing there? And Philippe Cruz 91 Yep, there's my GitHub. Um, Stelzy, hello. Summertime in Europe, yeah, so we got the change of time happening again. But that's why I make sure to log UTC time when I announce the schedule. Uh, let's see here. Chris Jones. Hello. Uh, Fanny Reinders. Hey, how's it going? Um, Prasant is here. Hello. Phillies. Absolutely. And Carrie with the, uh, the, the rainbow bearded clippy. <laughs> yeah. Cracked or Liberty couldn't describe America any better if it tried. <sighs> I, I see what you did there, Robert. I see what you did there. Uh, Philly proud, indeed. Hey, Mordecai, good to see you as well. All right, um, let's get some music playing in the background here and get things started. We're gonna we're gonna merge a couple pull requests from our friend Carrie Payette there uh, for our Stream Deck toolkit, and then we're gonna get back into working on a bot. We've been working on a bot for our friend. We've been working on bots for several different friends, and I think you're gonna see over the next month or so they're gonna start to come together as one amazing. Uh, super bot, like five Testing lion bots. Uh, see what you got there, Carrie. Oh yeah, we got it working. Thanks so much for that cheer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can make me have to open Notepad and record. There we go. Um, yeah, but we're gonna have. I've got like five, four different bots right now. We're gonna have them come together like a giant super bot, like a Voltron of Twitch bots, and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be. Something that a lot of folks are going to be interested in when we get there. Uh, Fanny Reinders asks, I have two mics. I, I do? I have two mics? Why ever would I need a second mic? Me? 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 Now that's just stupid. Why would you ever need that, Fritz? It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Then I'm trying to fix. 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 I think that works. That's why I have two mics. Hey, Pac-Man Jr., good to see you. Super tired but on a mission. Oh, yeah. Um, Radar Cornflakes, good morning. What a thing to come into. Good morning. Hey, Dryad T. Hello, hello. Good to see you. So let's take a look at this first set of, we've got these pull requests that our friend Carrie Payette sent over. She's the coding bandit on Twitch. Uh, on, I'm sorry, on GitHub. Um, that's way wrong. Oh my gosh, no, wrong, wrong. That's better. We are closing in on our rainbow beard goal over here. If we get to 7,000 followers... 7,000 followers before May 1st. I will dye my beard rainbow for Microsoft Build 2019. That's May 6th through 8th in Seattle. I hope to see I hope to see some folks there. But we're about to tick six, well, 5,900. We might get to 6,000 in the next day or two here. If we, that, that'd be amazing if we got to 6,000 right at the beginning of April. That means we have 1,000 to go in April. Can we get 1,000 in April? We'll find out. But we are closing in fast on that goal. I am thrilled to see that. Let me get some music playing in the background here before we dig into the code. Um, of course, I'm going to play some music to code by. 
Hey there, Performer KC. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate you joining us, and I look forward to seeing you in the chat room. Always, we're welcoming to all the questions that folks have there. We've got a great set of mods and experts that can help you out as we go along here and work through our code. CJ Harbitch is here. Har Harbish? How do you pronounce that? Is going to read it? Stream Elements, are you going to read it? Nope. Thank you, Brave Cobra, for that very kind resub. Five months. Yeah, we're, uh, we'll make a donation to Black Girls Code, and there's a follow from Repa610, or is that Rep A610? Thanks so much. Dev lead with the resub. There's no cap on how many months. Nope. No cap. It just keeps right on going. Thanks so much, Dev lead. I appreciate that, and we'll make a donation to Black Girls Code, as we do with all of our subs and cheers. Um, I'm going to play some music from Music to Code By here in the background. This is called Judson. With a K and not an H. It's German, I think. All right, so that's C.J. C. Harbick. Fantastic. I, well noted and welcome. Good to see you in the chat room. Um, but you like my stream. Hey, that's terrific. We will have a new charity next stream. Yes, Lannan. So next stream, this is... Um, this will be the last stream that we collect uh, cheers and subscriptions for Black Girls Code. Radar Cornflakes, thank you for the follow. Um, and we'll uh, we'll move on. And I and I think we're going to be supporting. I, I'm yeah. Let's let's do it. We're going to support vets who code. Hey Frackberg, good morning. And then for our summer charity, so this will be for April, May, June. For our summer charity, I want to find something international that support that especially support some folks coding in Europe. Good to see you, Frackberg. Thank you so much, Tagaron, for that 13th month subscribing in a row. Oh my gosh. One of the original subscribers. Thank you so, so much for bringing your Twitch Prime here. Of course, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link that up to Twitch and you'll get a Twitch Prime account. You can choose one channel. Oh my gosh, Pac-Man Jr. Holy crow. To finish. You can choose one channel and you'll get a free subscription on that channel. Or Pac-Man Jr., thank you so much for gifting 20 subs. 20 subs in the channel. Thank you very, very much for that. We'll make a big donation to Black Girls Code, but uh, Cryptic Coder, Malakin CM, Ninja Coder 88, Red Bernius, Effiga, uh, CJ Harbick. Uh, hey Beto V1998, Static KR, Philippe Cruz, Staker4, Performer KC, DJ DGB, Energy Z Bond, DJ Vortex, Radar Cornflakes, Prasant Louise, C17R, and Iren Das. Oh, John Galloway and Code Rushed. You've all got tier one subs. Thank you very, very much for that generosity, Pac-Man Jr. Wowie wow. That is so cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's show some hype for Pac-Man Jr. Thank you very, very much. That is amazing. And you're good. all those folks, you're going to get a purple purple hat. That's our new subscription icon, subscriber icon. Um, it turns into a red hat at three months. At six months, it'll turn into a blue hat. And at one year, it turns into a rainbow hat with a, with a propeller on top. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. And your first cup of coffee. <laughs> Jeff Rutland, hey, good morning. All right, so much hype already, wow, wow. Fanny Rinders with a cheer, oh yeah. You get to sp spam the .NET bot now. Oh yeah, Prasant, there's a, there's a bunch of bots in there and a uh, bunch of different bots in there. And uh, we will absolutely continue making those donations and we're gonna make a nice big donation to Black Girls Code here as we get on the other side. There's the cool bot, Pac-Man Jr. Oh yeah. We're all subbed for the gritty. <laughs> so, okay. Chat room, help me out. Am I overthinking it? There's, I have no way to pull this off. It would be a complete attempt shot in the dark. Do I try to put something together to cosplay as gritty at TwitchCon? Uh, Brave Cobra, yes. Just immediately, yes. Dev lead. Whoa. Afternoon here. Last cheer of the month. Looking forward to next. 
VS 2019 coming Tuesday. Yep. Vulcan salute. Absolutely. So Tuesday, I will not be streaming at my normal time because I'm going to be hosting the Visual Studio 2019 launch event. Um, I've got one session in the afternoon Pacific time that I'm hosting, and then I'm hosting the uh, the code party afterwards, the virtual attendee party, where you'll get a chance to win some prizes, answer some trivia questions, and uh, meet some of the folks that helped build Visual Studio. All signs point to yes, I know, right? Look at all this, yes, yes, hype, do the thing. Yeah, I know. So many cheers and gift subs already. It's amazing. Yeah, that cup is filled already. That is so cool. Good morning, Teal Old Man. Wow. Animated Slinky. It didn't... Where, come on. Where's the cheer notification? No. No. Uh, I'm going to record that anyway. Animated Slinky, and we'll get that into our code that we write here for Quill Tony. It feels like 27... But thank you so much for that cheer, and we'll make a donation to Black Girl's Code. And we haven't even started coding yet. I know. Can you believe it? Slot machine effect for all. Coming up. Oh yeah, we're gonna do we're going to do a slot machine effect for our bot for Quill Tony. And I if if we do this right, it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun to be able to to try. Cosplay, you'd prefer Rainbow Clippy. Oh, that's not bad either. That's not bad. You broke it. Yeah, animated slinky, you broke it. All right. Let's go over to the code and let's start talking about. I want to review this, this merge, uh, this pull request that we have first. See, look, the bit came in from animated Slinky, but it didn't actually, like, do the thing. Yes, with State Machines, Brave Cobra. Yes, yes. In fact, I think when we get to Quill Tony's code, I think I'll open up Live Share, and we'll we'll make it read only, so you folks can get in there, um, point around, and we can take a look. So. Uh, you're right. Tuesday is the Visual Studio 2019 launch. I hope you join me. Um, I w I'll be simulcast over on this channel from the Visual Studio channel. If you'd like, if you have a hard time finding it, you want to click through and find us. Thursday, I'll be back, and I need to I need to lock down a guest for Thursday. So, all right. Um, let's see here. I gotta respond to this real quick. Uh. Okay. There we go. All right. What time will that be? Um, so the the Visual Studio launch is from I believe it's 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that's add three and then uh, add another four seven. Uh, carry the one. So that's from 5 p.m. UTC 1700 UTC. Uh, right through until I'm on at 3 p.m. So I have another 7. So like 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. UTC is when you'll find me. Work is keeping you from joining live. Work. Uh, a daughter. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. So um, we've been working on this Stream Deck Toolkit. This is a project we've been bouncing through and working on and doing uh, doing a lot of work so that you can write your own plugins for the Stream Deck to be able to use with Visual Studio or some other, some whatever other, uh, whatever other tools you'd like to work with, right? So you can build your own custom actions using .NET and, and C Sharp, uh, .NET Core specifically. So um, let's dig into this. We've got a pull request from Carrie for both our toolkit and with the, and there's also a start on some documentation and helping to support global settings. So when you build an action, let me let me bring up the Stream Deck application here. It's hiding here somewhere. Not that, I don't need that. Um, there it is. Well, I don't know why it's blurry. It was working just fine before that last Windows patch. Um, so here's my Stream Deck Mini. Uh, there's my right Stream Deck. Here's my left Stream Deck. Yeah, I've got a lot of stream decks. It's it's a thing. So these are actions down the side. You can now build custom actions using our toolkit, our library, and you can make your own things happen here in the middle. Um, so what this feature is that Carrie added was a 
the ability to interact with global settings. So global settings are a way for you to have settings that interact across all of the plugins, or uh, no, all of the instances of your action that you deploy and be able to have them work appropriately, right? Have them come down to it. So we've got 11 files that were changed in here, including, always well, got to update the readme, nice. Um, we've got some unit tests updating. Love it when unit tests are updated. That's another thing, right? If we look here, all tests passed. It finished running the, the unit test, so that's good. Continuing down, yep, some stub information, base stream deck action. <clears throat> All right, some little bit of spacing issue here, which I'm going to turn off. Don't tell me about that. There we go. Um, let's see here. Action instances inside of our action manager. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, okay. To get all actions that are registered. Um, we turned on application did launch into an async method. Hmm, we renamed it. That's gonna break some things. That's a breaking API change. Um, that's the only thing that I see here that I could get in a twist over. I could nitpick on. Broadcast message to all actions. That makes sense. Application did launch now calls app on application did launch async. It's an it's the correct name to to put on these actions. We like to name our methods that are asynchronous like these. We like to name them with async at the end of the method name so that you know that it's going to trigger and run asynchronously. Um, so that it, it's a valid renaming, but it's going to break APIs. I'm okay with that. I really am. And then there's the global settings to pass around as an interface. Okay. I'm fine with this. Thank, uh, thank you very much for this feature. So, and we'll get back into the Stream Deck in the next week or two. Do a little bit more work over there. I've got so many projects that are floating around here. Um, where'd the documentation one go? Why will it break the API, asks Philippe Cruz. <clears throat> the name of the method changed. The name of the public method changed. So, folks will... will that we're calling that API, it won't be there. You'll get a, a breaking, yeah, you'll, you'll get a message that it doesn't, um, oh, you, it was included. Oh, look at you. So I merged, two, it was a two for one. Very quick start for additional documentation on the readme. I see what you did there. Cool. We still got to work on docs for that. I got to do that at some point. Yep, I'm going to roll over to the emulator as well. I want to make sure... Do we ha Is the Stream Deck tools in our... Uh, in the ticker up there? I want to make sure that's popping up. I think I can pull Oil Tank Vision out of that list. Um... Yeah, I can pull that out. Stream Deck Toolkit, absolutely we want in there. Even though it that should update in just a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. GitHub, repository CSV. I am going to take Oil Tank Vision out of that. We haven't worked on that project in a while. In the Stream Deck emulator. Yep, all right, good. So let's go over, there's an emulator that goes with this that runs with an, as a Node.js application. So it's all written in JavaScript so you can interact with it and you can run this then as part of your integration testing process. 
And Carrie's been working on this to get it up to speed um, with the Stream Deck 4.1, the latest features that were released for the Stream Deck. So she's updating some of the events that occur there so that you can send settings back and forth from this emulator. It, it doesn't have an interface, a user interface, but it's intended to allow you to test and interact with your actions and make sure they work properly. Uh, build path. Um, oh, that's an example. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is it win x64 or is it win dash x64? It's an, you know what? It's an example. I'm not, I'm not going to get annoyed at that one. Because you should go find your build path appropriately. And we added a dash break registration parameter here. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So these are testing all the different arguments that you can pass in. Application did launch event you can trigger. Application did terminate event. Property inspector appear. Property inspector disappear. Send a plugin. So you can emulate these events. You can just send that those commands in and it'll do it'll interact with the plugin appropriately and then you can inspect the state of it so server js yeah you're handling the some of these things to be able to get settings set global settings and do the interactions so as you're doing your tests you'll be able to inspect and make sure that you receive the appropriate information nice cool let's merge uh, merge. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you so much for these updates. And who's our new follower there? Uh, Jazz Punk. Thank you for the follow. Oh my gosh. 5896. We are closing in on 5900 followers. That's so cool. And I'm, I'm flattered that we're getting close to it. Hey, Ancient Coder. Yeah. We're we're closing in on. We're we're moving faster. We accelerate towards that goal. Um, what do we got here? Uh, Hassam Kyle, two thousand nine. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, all right. So those were the changes that we had. Those updates for the Stream Deck Toolkit. Um, I hope you check it out. You you download it. You tried writing a plugin for the Stream Deck. You don't even need to have. The device, you can write it with the emulator, learn a couple things about it, and maybe it'll do something. Maybe you can automate something that's that's important in, in either your developer experience or if you're a streamer in your stream experience. Yeah, I've got the the large G Fuel today. From the dock. Halfway up the mountain, halfway to the tippity top, but Half, I forget what he says. It's a thing. All right. The project I really want to work on today, the new project, the new coding that we're doing today, we're continuing an effort for, for our good friend, Quill Tony. And we're working on a bot that emulates, that simulates the Lash Tools raffle capabilities. I'm going to turn this down while we show how this runs. This is a Flash no, it's it's an Adobe Air application. Here it is. And I'm still not going to update Adobe Air because Adobe Air doesn't... You don't need it. Just run the thing. Um, and... Um, right, time to give away... Stuff. And you can specify what you want it to look like. And I can add all the viewers from this channel. Yep, and boom, there they all are. And I can say start animation... And it does a thing like this. And then it has this slot machine effect. Along with very catchy music. Oh yeah, very catchy. Uh, and this is, yeah, it's a slot machine type of effect, right? It's scrolling through. I'm not even going to let it finish. And we want to emulate that. And I'm actually taking that feature, hooking it up to a bot that I call the Pixel Bot. You can find this in GitHub. Let me go back to this. It's right here. 
C-sharp Fritz under Quiltoni.pixelbot. And like I said, I've got like four of these bots out here now that I've been writing on Twitch, including the one we started the other day for Fairy Wings. The Fairy Bot, or as his friends call him, Snickers Von Glitterbot. We can't all be as cool as Snickers Von Glitterbot. But we can try. It's catchy. Nope, no giveaway. So the most difficult thing would be to find the catch music which we are allowed to use. Yes, Stelzy, that catchy music. If we can find that exact music, that would be amazing. Hey, Teal Old Man, yeah. Will your bot have a plug-in for music chosen by the streamer? That's not a bad idea. Where's the puppy? I know, right? We we need to have a puppy that we can have dance by, like like Cool Tony does. <laughs> and, <laughs> thank you so much, Fanny. Uh, I will record that, and we'll get it into our code here. We'll make another donation to Black Girls Code. It was great watching me implement Boop. Well, I think what was fun about implementing Snickers Von Glitterbot was we taught somebody new a little bit of C Sharp, a little bit of JavaScript to, to wet their whistle, and by the, by the time the two hours were over, we went from, from Fairy Wings being a little bit intimidated, not sure what she was getting into with writing some code, to at the end, you saw her eyes lit up and she was, she was really into it and was excited about what we could do, where we could take this, and wanted to, wanted to do more, wanted to learn more, figure out more. And I think it's, it's a great opportunity for, for us to not just work with Fairy, but to, to reach out to beginners, to folks who don't write code for a living who aren't students and trying to get into this and encourage them, give them that, that jump off point where they see something neat that they can put their hands on and it makes sense to them and, and kind of grow and, and do something really cool there. Do I have a link to the GitHub bot that I have in Discord? Um, I don't have it. It's not a GitHub bot in Discord actually. That's a pull request. Uh, not a pull request, I'm sorry. That's a webhook into Discord that I use. So if you go and you sign up for our Discord, and you, there's a link down below, um, you'll see that in the Projects on Stream um, channel, there's a, a mention from GitHub whenever there's an issue or a pull request in one of our projects. That Yeah, that's just a post. Is an auto-hoster also a viewer? Ask, a viewer ask Martin Van Stamp. No, it's not. You actually have to be on the channel. Flops on a couch. Yeah, all right. And then, heck, do the thing. We're, do it! Let's, let's get to it. Let's get in here. Um, and then we're going to write some JavaScript. Yeah. Uh, because who doesn't like writing JavaScript? Thank you, Robert Tables, for that very kind cheer. 492 bits. I'm seeing the funny numbers come through here on the bits. Cool. Very, very cool. You can have a GitHub webhook push a JSON to Discord server. You can push all kinds of webhooks to, to Discord to post information in there. Oh, yeah. And if, if you write the webhook with a little Node.js in JavaScript, it will... Um, be really easy to recompile and deploy new code. Do I do ever do anything for real beginners? Asks Radar Cornflakes. GitHub confuses me. Um, gosh, Radar Cornflakes, that's a really good idea. Um, gosh, I would love to do a, a GitHub for beginners uh, stream and really just talk through building your first project on GitHub. I'm going to take a note of that Radar Cornflakes and um, let's let's see if we can do a GitHub for beginner stream. Um, you know what? Maybe we can do that on, on Friday this coming week. Um, well, actually Fossils, here's an idea. We're streaming live. Maybe we talk through beginners and, and show here's how to set up and connect to a shared project on my GitHub 
and maybe it's just texts we're passing back and forth with pull requests and the like and opening issues. And we work together live doing that interaction. A little bit of Git for beginners as part of that as well. Yeah, I think that's invite Phil Hack dev lead. Brilliant. That is a brilliant idea, dev lead. I like where you're going there. Who doesn't like Phil Hack? Wow. He's um really good. Yeah, I love that idea. D way to kick off that discussion, Radar Cornflakes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Points to you. That's that's really cool. Um, and then, of course, the videos are archived and preserved over on YouTube. Art for the Apocalypse says, uh, Wait, was the JavaScript horse Winnie a young Frankenstein reference? I don't know what you're talking about, Art for the Apocalypse. I was on I, I was on a call with uh, my good friends Beth Massey and Dee Dee Walsh Friday, and we had some ideas for uh, different sound effects and things things that wouldn't break on stream. No, not Frau Blucher. No, not Frau Blucher. Um, that would have helped me. Took me a few attempts to wrap your hand around GitHub. Points mean prizes, said Codebase Alpha. Nah. Now we're kind of like um, we're kind of like whose line is it anyway? Um, all the code is made up, but the points don't matter. So maybe a documentation project, not bad. No, nope, Frau Blucher, nope, she's okay. We're okay with Frau Blucher. Yeah, we like horses here in the Fritz house, absolutely. But then we're going to get into writing a little bit of JavaScript. <laughs> And that'll be a thing. Fairy Wings! Thanks so much for the sub. It's not going to say it. It didn't say it! We'll make a donation to Black Girls Code. And that puts Fairy Wings in a... I believe in a blue hat now? Thanks so much. You've clearly never owned a horse. Oh, Frackberg. I've never owned a horse. Um, dang enter key. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's like having a 3,000 pound toddler. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Joker asks, why the second mic? It makes me sound fun. See? That's a thing. Svava is here. What mischief? <laughs> here comes the mischief. We're gonna we're we're not gonna type work on Snickers von Glitterbot right now. And I did record. Oh, I did record. Uh, I, I actually created a Twitch account for Snickers von Glitterbot. Three at one time. They are wonderful animals. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna work on this. Um, we're going to work on this uh, uh, this raffle feature for the Quiltoni bot that, that I want to make sure we get done before she goes live next time uh, early this week and we'll resume with Snickers Von Glitter bot it's a thing trust me totes my goats yeah. um, is that the account with too many characters yes Snickers Von Glitter bot is 21 characters long it made me stop at 16. So now it's called Snickers the Bot. And that's going to be Snickers Von Glitterbot. Her go her next go live day is tomorrow, says Dryad T. I better hurry up. I don't really get why I need two mics for voice mod, asks Fanny Rinders. I use a mixer for all of my audio. So my microphone is going through the mixer. I can't isolate this microphone from from everything else, from the sound, that, the music that you're hearing going out to voice mod. So how do I isolate my voice so that I don't also voice mod the music? That would be weird. Um, two mics, two stream decks. What's next? Two hats. No. Bad idea. Two beards. No. So one mic is on voice mod, the other is normal. Toggle mute with stream deck. You got it. 
Uh, I chase. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. You had the same issue with voice mod. Yeah, you need to kind of isolate a little bit there. Um, 16. What is the 16? Who said 16? Yeah, 16 characters. I know, right? That's a hex number. Strange things are afoot. There's something there that we need to identify and figure out. All right. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think with fly. Think. Here we go. Let's get into this. Let's get back into, into the bot here. Somebody was asking, I think there was one other question there. Yeah, there it was from Brave Cobra. Um, weren't you the JavaScript horse announcer some weeks ago? Yes, I was. That was me. You may have heard me. I do I do that thing. A wig and a pirate hat. Um, that's on the other side. That's right over there on, on the shelf. I do have a, a pirate hat with a wig. Yes. And it's amazing. Okay. So. Um, all right. Let's 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 get in and talk about this. Save that for iPirate Day. No, no. No. You have to ask me nicely. And then maybe I'll put it on. But not right now. And it is findable on Google. If you search for me on Google, you'll see me wearing the pirate hat. Okay? All right. So we were in here and we were rewriting for Quiltoni. Inside the relay project here, I was adding a page. What's that? No, not this branch. What's that? This one over here. The, the feature giveaway. Um, somewhere down here. Inside pages. And then? Uh, it's not here. I thought I, I thought I pushed this up here. And then? It's not here. Um, fine. Let me open, let's open PowerShell. Open the PowerShell. Uh, go over here to there. Oh, I didn't push it up. Or, I've got a bunch of changes I've been working on. Is the guest game in that code, asks Brave Cobra. Yes, it is. Yes. So, and that's actually promoted to the um, to the master branch. This is now publicly available. This is a, a the game that we were working on one Tuesday night with Brave Cobra, where he suggested check out using a state machine to manage the state of the chat room as we're interacting with the game. So, Quiltoni runs a game on her stream where folks have to guess how long it takes for her to finish some sewing task quilting whatever um so there's there's four different states to that between uh idle opening the game for requests actual timing of the task and closing those requests and then awarding whoever won so those four different states we wanted to manage nicely and we found um brave cobra on his own stream uh, showed us how to use a, a library called Stateless to run that state machine and manage this. So I've taken some of some of those uh, great foundations that Brave Cobra built and interpreted, and I've started building out this giveaway game that does a very similar thing, where it's going to run a slot machine type of effect, like you saw on a on a user interface, and then. Folks enter it from the chat room, uh, and then we choose a winner. That state machine, yes, Sushinator. And it didn't read it again. It's it's reading it only sometimes. Um, thank you so much for that tier one sub. Uh, video is on YouTube. Fantastic. Go ahead and you, you can share the link to that if you have it handy, so that folks can find it. So. <clears throat> All right, let's um, let's over, head over here. I found a JS fiddle that had uh, that had some JavaScript that would do this type of effect, and this felt like it made sense to me. Um, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. There's a view box with a wrapper object here. Santosh Raj 007. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. Um, would be cool to do with low code too, like durable functions, cloud uh, logic apps. Maybe. Hey, sweet Vinaya is here. Hello, hello. 
Good to see you, friend. Um, oh my! Yeah, sweet Phineas. So this this code that that this person wrote, and this was written by it doesn't even say. There it is by Jake Wolpert. Thank you, Jake, for sharing your code. This this inspired us, and I think we're going to be able to use a little bit of this. Has a full screen for each one of the options: one, two, three, four, five, six. And when I click start, it spins through this, and it eventually stops on one. Here's the thing: it always stops on one. It doesn't randomly choose one to stop on. It just always stops on one. One. Mm. Um, you did not miss miss my miss. You did not miss much yet. So, oh my gosh, Teal Old Man. Thank you so much for gifting that tier one sub to Sweet Vinaya. That is so, so cool. Wow. Yeah, wow. Thank you very, very much. And uh, Sweet Vinaya, you get to use all of our cool emotes now. And we'll make a donation to Black Girl's Code. Thanks so much. Number one must be special. Or they didn't actually randomize the uh, spinning here. There is a random here. But for some reason, the, the slot that it wants to stop at, it, right, it's, it, it doesn't, so it's, it's supposed to go to this slot times 200 and animate and stop there. But it never does. It always comes back to one. See? Always. Always one. It's like, uh... It's like, a, a sil that the show Silicon Valley. Always blue. Always blue. No. Always one. Always one. And it's always one. We are two followers away from 6,000. Someone hop out on, twi on Twitter and, and tell their friends, tell their pets, make a Twitch account, sign up, and, and join us over here. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? da 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 Okay, here we go. Um, why do I have a, a little bell here? What happened? Something happened. Uh, okay, no worries. Probably changing the seed. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, Threnen. I like that. That emote. The fail emote. Cool. Lurking as you clean, love our faces. Oh, thank you, sweet Vinaya. So... I think this is a good place to start. We gotta work on that randomization thing. And I don't want this to take up the full screen, the full slot there. I wanna be able to see like, like four or five names at once in there as they scroll by. And just like we saw in that, in that Lash Tools video, I want the middle one to kind of get a little bit bigger and that's the one that's being selected. So what do you think, chat room? Can we write can we write some JavaScript that'll solve this problem and make this look really cool? Can you help me out? Isn't a rand always a value between zero and and a time six always floors to one? Um So the random is gonna be between zero and one. So multiply it times six. Well it's Thank you so much, Dare Devil Ops, for the subscription. I really appreciate that. Continuing the gift sub that you got. Very, very cool. Yes, a vertical carousel type of effect. We'll make a donation to Black Girl's Code. 270, thank you so much for the follow. Boot Black Knight, congratulations. No, you are not follower 6000. We had a bunch of folks unfollow. Uh, are there any pics of you handing a big check previously to girls develop it and now black it, it's black girls code there is um there is video of me giving giving money to girl develop it black girls code i haven't i haven't made the donation yet um but um if we go out to youtube real quick um it is uh where where did i put it um, C sharp Fritz. What was I working on that day? What was I working on? I, my gosh. Slash C sharp Fritz. Um. Oh my gosh, and two hundred more from Fanny. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Hi there. Yep, that's my name me. Is Jeff Fritz. No, no, that's not channel. what I want. Go away. I call it not this one. It's um. 
Yeah, you, you did get a... Okay, so you got a five on that. Good. Let me go back. It is a few months ago, and I was wearing a, a blue Dunder Mifflin hat. This is one of the reasons I wear... There it is. Oh, I don't need a Camtasia. Ah, blah, blah, blah. There we go. This guy. This was... I, I was a teary mess when I did this. Fritzception. Sure yeah, that guy. Sure Teal old man with a thousand <laughs> bits. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much for that kind cheer. I wanted to support others. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure. I, uh, I, yeah, I get a little teary here, but if you scroll over a little bit and you get past me uh, as a blubbering mess, there was uh, our donation over to Girl Develop It. So there you go. There's, there's more waiting till we, for us, uh, waiting for Girl Develop It when we see them. Uh, yeah, it's important that I share, share when these happen. And it will, we'll see this happen. Yep, I have the feels. Can you believe it? We are one follower away from from 5,900. So, um, check the link if you want to see me in a, is a, a crying, teary mess making that donation. Um, yeah, absolutely. Back in the day using that scrub mic. No, no, it wasn't a scrub microphone. Should, that, should add that clip to the bot. There's Veronica. There's parts there that we could add. There's parts. Thank you, Frank. We, I, I need to set up. I want to make that that last donation to Girl Develop It, but I don't know the state of the organization. I want to make sure that we help them. But Black Girls Code. There's a lot of money going to Black Girls Code. It is. Yeah. There's. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you see how much money gets gets donated, and then my employer matches. All right, let me get back into into this project here. We got a little distracted. So I've actually started a bit here with the code. Let me show you what I changed inside of the giveaway game. Uh, not there. We didn't use that one. Not that one. So we have a giveaway game object. And as I start to write the code, I'll paste in our cheers for today. Um, there are several different states to the giveaway game inside of our bot. And it's important that the giveaway game run inside the bot because this is where we're gonna do the interaction with the folks that are in the chat room. So there's several different states. It's idle, it's not running. We're open for folks to enter the giveaway. We run the giveaway and then we, we reward the winner. There's a couple different triggers that we're gonna go through. We want the broadcaster to be able to configure the bot moderators and the broadcaster to be able to open and say, hey, we're going to start a giveaway. Um, we need to start the bot. We need to do the reward. Sometimes it's important to be able to do a rerun. With the same entrance, go rerun the, rerun the giveaway. And of course, we want to be able to trigger some sort of help text. Teary mess. Yeah, that's me. Uh, we could do something. Sure. Um... A number value for each enum says Kasukin. Uh, so he, often he does that. Yes, you can do that. You can, you can code a number with these, right? Absolutely. If you don't, by default, the first one is zero. The second one is one, two, three, four, and it just counts down. That's what it'll do. The language will do by default. If you, if the numbers are important to you, sure, specify them. You don't need to do that. Um, so, but good good to point that out, Kasukin. Yeah, that's an optional thing that you can do. So do you have to close it in to reset the list of entrants? Yes, yes. Close it and then reopen it to reset. Um, I think there's also 
from our triggers, right? Maybe there's a reopen so that more folks can join. Right, if we want to allow more folks to enter the the giveaway. From what I know, you also can define the zero value for the default. Yes, you can. You can only define the zero value for the default? No, you can configure whatever you'd like here. Right, if you want to make these flags, right? Oh, look at me. Look at me with the binary. Oh, it's so good. So then you can have multi multiples of these coming at once. Cryptos UK, congratulations. You are follower number 5,900. Watch, it's going to take over right now. Watch, this is going to go, it's going to take over any second now. It's going to become 5,900 because of you, Cryptos UK. Watch, here comes the number change. It happens once a minute and I'm biting my time. I'm wasting time trying to wait for it to take over. So it sounds like I leaned just... Ran right up to it, and here it comes. It's going to tick over any second now. I know it, and... It hasn't yet. Where is it? There it is! It's over there! It's on Twitch. It's 5,900 on Twitch. This number's going to tick over. I know it is. It's coming. Come on! No. Wait, it went back to 5,899 on Twitch. Somebody's out here doing a follow-unfollow thing, having fun with me. And I bet it's either... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure this out. Does it exclude things like other bots? Yes, it does. So, uh, I'm going to close this and not save those changes. So, these are the different states and triggers. Now, the giveaway game itself, right? This is a way for us to put all the logic for how to process and interact. Cullen's Workshop, thank you for the follow. All right, now we're down to 5898. Somebody's out there hitting the button, I tell you. Seiza, I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining me. I bl yeah, I do blame Robert Tables, Frackbird. I, th I think we absolutely should blame Robert Tables. Uh, Ravni Pakan 41k thank you so much for the follow I appreciate you joining us or Twitch is doing its unfollow random people no no uh, seems I didn't catch up on all the streams there no no we're okay people following and unfollowing to try and be 5900 uh, whatever um, heck yeah I know so I do have a black a blacklist of entrants that we will never include. Cowboy Crispy, thank you so much for the follow. Now we're at 5901. We jumped right past 5900 to 5901. All right, nobody was following 5900. You all lose. We broke it. We broke it. Twitch is broken. Um, all right, let me, so I have this list here, and the idea is at some point in the future, we'll allow this to be configurable. You'll be able to pass in that configuration to say, exclude these, and they'll never be included. I really don't get why people comment on videos, videos on demand. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Um, uh, what would be a good robot to build as a first project for an IT guy who's medium to low skilled on the hardware? A good robot? Oh, that's a good question for Robert Tables. He's been building robots on his stream on Saturdays. Very cool. He, Robert Tables and uh, some of the other folks that are here are, also, are all members of the Live Coders team, including there's Carrie Payette and Kasukin. Um, just looking up the list real quick that I see here in my window. They're all members of the Live Coders team. Scott Harwood, thank you for the follow. You can click that Live Coders link down below me here and you'll see the list of, I think there's 38 members of the team right now. 38. All kinds of different code. Python, Java, .NET. Uh, even JavaScript. And uh, you can learn from all of them. They're all outgoing folks that are happy to answer your questions and work with you here on stream. So this blacklist of entrants, when we're adding entries, and there's an add entry method down here that I added. Honest, there was. 
uh, not when starting, when open can start. Enter giveaway, here it is. When you enter giveaway, if you're already entered, you can't enter again. So I have a list of, a read-only list of entrants. You can't enter it a second time. If the blacklist, right, and th these are the folks that we're not including, uh, if it does contain it, we'll return. Don't enter them into the raffle, otherwise we'll add you in. Rhonda? Rhonda who? Uh, did you do the output to uml.graph? No. Nope. Live coders rules the world. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on normal YouTube comments are a normal thing. Yeah, that's, but they're different. Different. Rhonda is the name of Robert Table's new robot car. Oh, I thought it was Ellie Face's Star Trek char character. So that's the giveaway. Now the giveaway hooks up to a giveaway command over here. In the giveaway command, you trigger by saying giveaway. And then you pass in a verb. Help, open, start. And if you don't pass in a command, it'll actually default to telling you help. And the command over here will detect the state of the of the game and then output appropriate message an appropriate message to just you it'll whisper it to you and let you know how you can interact with it it is in reference to Ellie face aha I figured it out Ellie face that pH 16 is a chat person able to join the blacklist so they can chat without entering that's a good question teal old man. That, I think that's a good secondary feature to be able... You know what? We could probably add that real quick. Let's add that real quick. That's not bad. What should be the verb to say exclude me from the... from the raffle? Fifth to seventh... Fifth? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Since uh, what's happening at six thousand? Nothing's happening at six thousand, but it gets us really close to seven thousand over there. At seven thousand, we'll uh, yeah, I'll dye my beard. UM UML graph would draw out the state machine diagram, but only if there's no coded conditions. Uh, yeah. yeah, so exclude. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, mumbling owl. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. Cruising along. The follower train is real. It is real. On some days I can read okay. <laughs> I know that feeling. Um, all right. So let's create then a private read-only list. Read-only list. Yeah. Of strings. Um, exclude chatters equals make that an a new thank you you know I don't want that to be read only uh, no I don't want to create a new one read only is fine there okay so if we make the if we add a um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so on open let's permit dynamic if um, yeah if it's uh, no 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 so hang on enter giveaway this is come on where's my why don't I have... Do you see what's missing? The, uh... The what's it called aren't here. The Visual Studio, um... Right, the little things that appear. I forget what it's called. I forget the name of the feature in Visual Studio. The, the little text that appears above the code that shows me the references and that kind of stuff. That's weird. Uh, no references found. Uh, no. Inside the giveaway game command. That's not it. 
giveaway game command. Message received, game enter giveaway, and the st if the state is not open, you can't enter the giveaway. Code lens, yeah. Code lens, where'd it go? Because this is Enterprise 2019 and there's no code lens. And it is showing on this file, but if I go over here, it's not there. Uh, we need to open an issue. That's a problem. I'm going to open an issue real quick. Code lens. That's not how you spell disappeared. Uh, disappears in some files. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these. Yeah. New problem. Close the file and reopen it? Sure. But I want to take a picture first. Um, in some of my uh, .cs some of my this is a .net core um, class files the code lens feature does not work. In other files in the same project, it does. Next. Sure, include that preview. Let's attach additional files. Ah, no, I'm not gonna attach additional files. Uh, summary, sure, yeah, blah. Go. All right. It's always important to, if you see something goofy like that, file a quick uh, error report. The Visual Studio folks can track that down and they can get on it. Sushinator, a question for me. Since you're using music to code by, is this still the original version or are you allowed to use the current collection of, I think, 14 songs? This is still the original version. Um, yeah, I know other folks have, have started licensing uh, Carl's music. Um, Yes, I have a, a standing agreement with Carl um, on being able to use his music. Visual Studio is a standard install program nowadays. That's a good thing. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on? Here, I'll close giveaway game control and give away game. And now they're back. Actually, Yep, there they go. It was down in here, it wasn't appearing. Now they are. The plot thickens. Anyways, not my problem. Um, other folks can solve that. But, but clearly there's something there. So game enter giveaway, it's being called here when, when a message is received in chat. And if we want to be able to say exclude me, so if we add a verb called exclude, Right, we could say game dot x. Come on now, exclude. Uh, sure, Twitch, and then this break. And uh, these are all kind of the same thing, but they pivot based on the various um, commands that are being passed in as to what it's actually calling. We could call one method and just pass in the name, and then still switch and go out and call the appropriate thing. We could probably even Oh, we'll create an action dictionary. Just to make this right. So let's create public static read only uh, dictionary string and then we'll pass a uh, action um, 
game is a giveaway game, so we need to pass in the giveaway game. Giveaway game. And then we need to pass in what's Twitch. Twitch is an iChat service. And uh, this is a, uh, yeah, it's the giveaway game command. Mm, fine, giveaway game command. Okay. Why does it keep going name of first? Um, oh. Uh, let's call this verbs, because it's our verb dictionary. There we go. Create a new one of these. Um, let's see. There has to be some switch if, yeah. Well, no, there doesn't actually. We're going to get rid of it. Why not create a dictionary of tuples? As a key or as a value does not matter. And maybe explain the difference between tuples and value tuples in C sharp. Don't need to. Yep, action dictionary, so then we get rid of the switch altogether. So then we end up with things like help, right? And then we receive, right? We're gonna receive game, Twitch, and then the command. Ta-da. And now I can just do this. CMD. And now I can get rid of that. And it becomes the same thing the rest of the way down to kind of simplify this stuff. Game Twitch CMD. Game dot open. No. Game dot Twitch CMD. Start. And uh, game.start. Twitch, CMD. And I'm sure I could simplify this even further. Since they all have the same signature. Right? I could turn that into an, a, a, a single action. Write a delegate signature and pass that back and forth. Um, but I do want to make this readable and something that new folks can understand. Right? Boom. Game dot exclude Twitch. Oops, that should be a comma. So now what we're able to do, right? Instead of putting this here. Um, so if there are no arguments, game help, we can also say if, uh, verbs, if it doesn't contain the key, um, <laughs> uh, arguments as list zero, you know what, let's var the verb. Let's capture the verb and put this somewhere. No, rats. Um, right, command, arguments as list, zero to lower in invariant. So now I get the verb. Um, contains key, the verb. So if you can't find that verb, then output the help text. Otherwise, here's what we're going to do. Check this out. Check this out. Verbs. The verb. And we're going to pass in some arguments, and it's going to be game twitch this. So we've got this dictionary up here that defines here's all the different verbs. Instead of having a switch and have to figure out where it actually goes, this is actually going to go through, find the appropriate method, call that method based on the verb that's passed in. Boom. Var the verb sounds confusing. Key value as opposed to. Yep. There you go. I think that's I think that's readable. Right? What do you think there, Brave Cobra? 
It does sound confusing when you read it out loud. Yes. But that's okay. Or a good title for a kid's book. <laughs> the Magic of Delegates and Lambda. Red Squiggly on line 23. Yes, we need to build the exclude command. So let's go back over to the game. I'm going to close everything up, minimize things here. I'm going to start Karnak because I forgot to again. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So public void, not virtual, void. Exclude I chat service uh, giveaway game command. Let's check to see if the if they're already included in the list of entrants. If entrance contains commit wow. Uh, chat user dot username. If it does contain it, we need to remove them. Uh, command chat user username. If the uh, exclude chatters, if it doesn't contain Command chat user username. Um, exclude chatters. Add command chat user username. That's easy. Uh, we also need to make sure we're only doing this when we're in open state. So if uh, state if it does not equal uh, giveaway game state, open, return. Uh, return. Just ignore it for right now. You might want to st <clears throat> still check for key exists on 44. 44 here. Well, I'm checking it there. Why would it change? It wouldn't, I don't think it would change in between there, Mordecai. Right? If it doesn't, if you don't have any arguments, and if it's not in our list of verbs, I'll put the help text. Otherwise, it does exist in the list of verbs. Call it. You don't like them all on one line? Like this? Okay. That's fair. How's that? Uh, ah, okay, very good, Mordecai. Glad we're on the same page there, right? Important that that we double check on on some of those things. And that's that's kind of what I like about having uh, having pair programmers hanging out there, able to comment on things. Now it looks like I've got an I'm, I'm missing. There we go. Fantastic. So now we can exclude, and when we run. Right, so now we have entrance. There's a when starting right now. The right now just says giveaway game start state set to running. And at some point, we need to send the message over to the web page that's going to put the cool animation up that says, okay, we're running. And this is where I'm going to need your help, chat room. This calls into the relay, and we're using this relay project on out there on the cloud to host a web page right now that does some animations to show information about Shopify. But we're going to wire up this giveaway game controller so that we can post in. Here's the list of folks that are entering. Select a winner, but trigger a signal R notification to show the slot machine and get it running through here. You know what I didn't do real quick? When I was Hang on, I didn't say it yet. Didn't say it yet. Ah. Um, so on the enter, right, when it adds uh, enter giveaway, right, if entrance contains display name return, I also want to say, um, not. I have the, the blacklist of entrance. I also want to say if 
um, exclude chatters contains uh, display name to lower invariant. That could be a problem. I'm using display name over here and I used username here. Let's make that uh, display name. And it was to lower invariant. Let's make sure we get that the same everywhere. Oh, rats. Watch this. Bing. Bing. Done. Um, all right. So come back up here. If the exclude chatters contains it, I don't want to just return. But let's actually whisper back. Oh, I can't whisper back. I don't have it here. Yeah. Return. Can Twitch usernames contain anything like emojis? No. Nope. The JavaScript should just reflect the state of the game, nothing more. Agreed, agreed, brave, brave Cobra. You might want some signal R to push that state. Exactly. Exactly. So the controller... I, I, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to choose the winner server side before I run the slot machine. I'll call into the client, the web page that's attached, and say, run the raffle. By the way, here's the winner. And here, here are the folks that have entered. And if I scroll down, the way that I'm randomly choosing the winner. Now, chat room here, I'm going to, I'm going to set up live share so that you can join me here. All right. Uh, I'll sign in with GitHub today because I feel like GitHub. I'm going to make this read-only so you can take a look and you can test things out here. So there you go, chat room. You can join in and up to 30 of you can take a look at this. Uh, there are no capitals in usernames. Yes, that's a Twitch thing. Usernames are all lowercase. Um, and it should be up to 25 characters. Should be. So, having a new property display name as lower would, would save me time. That's not a bad idea, Philippe Cruz. That's not a bad idea at all. Right, uh, it was display name as lower. There you go. So if you have Visual Studio Code, if you have Visual Studio 2017 or 2019, you can connect and poke around the code. You'll be in read-only mode, but you'll be able to wander around and take a look and verify some of the things that I'm writing here. Make sure that things like my random, my randomization here makes sense. So, uh, well, that's display name being passed in here, but down here, I can say, make sure that I'm pushing this same thing everywhere, I can say display name as lower. To make sure that I get it all in the same format. That's not bad. Um, uh, Zulius, my previous question may have scrolled by a bit uh, too far for you to notice it. Could you have another look? Uh, you wonder if I'm missing some logic. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, I'm clicking on your name so I can find that. Uh, that check for key exists doesn't keep the function from trying to ex execute a non-existent key after showing the help command, does it? Stand by, let's take another look over here. Oh, you're right. I need to return here so that it doesn't proceed through. Good catch, good catch. Thank you so much for that. Uh, here, points to you. I'm I'm consolidating my my stream decks and my uh, sound effects here so that I've got. Yeah, we'll find it. Good catch. You think red wire is correct? You should use the username and not the display name, really. Uh, 
Um, okay. I can buy that. I can buy that. In which case, I can go back to chat user and I don't really need this. That's fine. Um, so enter giveaway is passing in, let's just call this username. And then I don't need to lower invariant because the username is always lowercase according to Twitch. And I think that works. Do I have display name anywhere else here in uh, this document? So let's change these, let's do a replace. To, I think it's username like that, right? Yeah, I was right. Uh, yep, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, uh, these, let's go to username. Where was that previous one? This one, whisper message. Right? Um, go back to the Twitch service. I separated out Twitch into its own thing. Ah. So now this has a method called whisper. I have it passing user display name. I think it may need... Now it says string receiver. Ooh. We'll see. All right. Uh, Twitch ID is the way to go. It's a unique long... No. Spec silent, Sean. Ugh. No. While unique, yes. Ugh. I Debugging-wise, I can't do anything with that. It becomes... It becomes annoying since users can change their names. Yeah, but they're not going to change their names in the middle of a game. Um, you, yeah, user ID isn't going to change in the middle of a game. Right? We're talking about a, a two, three minute experience at most. It looks like it, but that's... Where'd it go? Here. Right, Twitch client send whisper. Um, and this comes out of Twitch libs, Twitch client. Right, it just says receiver. It doesn't say whether that's a username. Somebody who does it mid-game doesn't want to win anything. Exactly. It is such an extremely rare circumstance. And you can't do it frequently. I'm not going to get concerned about that. That's a... That that's a, a ex, that's an extreme scenario that I don't want to get wound uh, wound up about. Using username is good. However, the display name could be something completely different. Um, well, display name actually, and I know this because I was just trying to do it last night. Display name can only be different capitalization from your username. That's that's Twitch's definition of username and display name. You can't put spaces and things in there. It's just you change the capitalization. Um, CJK display names exist. Um, they do, yes. Can't display name be a different language? I don't know. Looks like it. So at the moment, yes. Yes. So... Um, I'm not going to get wrapped up. We can work on that logic later. I think you're right. It should be username that we pass, but it's not clear to me what Twitch lib uses when it sends that message. It's not clear and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get wound up in it. So I've let a couple folks in here, <clears throat> here so you can take a look. Let me go over to the controller and I'll show you how, the, how I wrote the random method here to randomly select. I, I'm pulling in a, a count of folks that we're going to randomly choose across. I'm not actually pulling in their names, just a number. And I grab it by the number of folks that are entered, and that's going to be an array of names that are passed over. 
I take that count and I turn it into a list of all of those. And I shuffle that list. I created a private method inside this method that only exists to do the shuffling so I can recursively call this. So for, and I want to do it 10 times, the list equals shuffle the list. I pass in a list of entries. I randomly, using the time of day, total number of seconds, set a random seed. And then I go through and I pick out the first one that has that number, add it to the out list, remove it from the previous, and continue doing that until I get a randomized list. Return that list and shuffle it again. And then return whatever the first number is after 10 shuffles. Should the game be a hosted service instead of a singleton? Uh -huh. The bot is a hosted service inside of a client-side application. We're gonna change that later, not in, not in this stream. I'm not gonna re-architect. Um, this is a controller that then reaches out through a signal R hub to our page. And our page, uh, that's in the pixel bot. Da, 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 is our giveaway page right here. Close all about this. All right. Enumerable dot range. Um, let me go back to that. I think you're thinking C sharp eight, right? Is that a thing right now? Oh no, I do have that feature. Oh snap, I didn't know I did have it. Fantastic. Oh, that's so much better. Get rid of that. And who's our new follower? It is Small Bacon. Oh my gosh, Small Bacon. Thanks so much for joining us. The new range is system.range. Um Rearchitect is your middle name. Yeah, don't need to don't need to rearchitect yet. We'll get there. Right, I want to. I'm going to keep this simple, and eventually we'll move the bot so it's running as a service out on the cloud somewhere, so that Quiltoni doesn't have to install something. And our friend Dryad T uses the same bot; she'll be able to get the same features when she runs this. Also, all right. So I want to roll over to to my HTML page here, and Small Bacon with the cheer. Hello. Hello. See, look at that. It cheered for Small Bacon, not for anybody else. Um, from the controller, I'm going to, I'm going to drop in our cheers in here. Here we go. First one was C pay it. Now why'd you do that? There we go. Uh, it's the 31st of March. Next one is 500 to Fanny Rinders. I didn't spell that right. Cheer for me. Ah, uh, thank you to you, old man. And of course, all of our cheers will be donated to Black Girls Code. Small bacon with the sub. Thank you very, very much. Two months. Awesome. Awesome sauce. And let's continue along here. 1,000 on animated slinky. And I really do need to automate this. I automate so much of my stream. 492 to Robert Tables. Uh, 1,000 to Teal Old Man. And this is the last day of our Bits for Bytes. I'm, I'm in the middle of talking to uh, Michael Jolly about having him come on and, and do a stream with us, talking about and working through some cool bot stuff because he's working on that on his stream as well. So that we're setting up and our friend Auth Zero Bobby is going to be joining us very, very soon. That's where the Fritz crew kicks in. I like my code like I like my cheese, not smelly. It's not that. Yagni, you aren't going to need it. Don't need to build it yet. So thank you so much to all of our cheerers. And um, yeah, we're, we're going to set up for 
You like stinky cheese, says Robert Tables. Shame. 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 Give me a good smoked Gouda. Ugh, smoked Gouda. It's so good. It's so Gouda. All right. So um, our controller is going to use SignalR. And SignalR is our technology that we can use to pass uh, instructions from a server to all of the attached clients. This makes 1,200. Oh my Not gosh. Nothing, all right. Thank you so much, Teal Old Man. I appreciate that cheer. Good morning, Clark IO. Good to see you. So Clark IO knows I've got I, I've got I'm, I'm trying to put together a meetup for our live coders team at TwitchCon, but I've got something secret, something special. And now I sound like Qualtony. I've got a secret project that I've been working on for our friends at uh, at TwitchCon. Secret, very secret. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the things. And then we're going to. Uh, we're going to write some JavaScript over here. Is, is is that a good running running gag? Are you okay every time I say JavaScript? I'm, yeah, I'm going to be keeping some secrets. Absolutely. Um, so I'm over here. I've, I'm receiving my SignalR library, and I connect up to the server with a SignalR hub connection builder. This allows me to connect and receive messages as the server wants to notify me, hey, you need to go do something. When I receive the command run raffle, I'm going to call it a function here called run raffle. And that method is down here. Run raffle, I'm going to receive that winner's position because this is only selecting a winner's position. Frau Blucher. Thank you, Small Bacon, for that very kind cheer. Yes. But no, I'm I'm um, I'm playing the uh, the sound effect when folks say JavaScript. BB and VA is here. Yeah. Did I see last week's ASP.NET community stand up? Amazing signal or stuff. That was with my good friend Brady Gaster. I've seen a number of the things he's done there. It's amazing. We did some of that on the virtual Dev Intersection show a couple weeks ago. We've got another one of those coming up here. Um, all right, so we're passing back. The winner is actually just a number. It's a position in the array that we're going to show. So I, I took that slot machine capability that we saw over in, uh, uh, what's it called? The JS Fiddle. And I copied in those features here. So when I say run the raffle, I'm going to be passed a list of entrants as an, as an array of strings, right? These are the people that were entering the raffle. I've got a total height because I set the, the height of each one of the entrants. Where'd it go? Right, here we go. So this is the, the spinner that we're creating for our slot machine. It's inside of a view box, inside of the actual thing that we're going to spin. I've got a UL, an unordered list of these folks' names. And for each one of those, it's gonna be 300 pixels wide 50 pixels high will be each person's name, and I'm making the font size 40 pixels. That way, you've got 10 pixels on both sides, so it kind of fits nicely. Maybe I make that a little smaller and make it, I don't know. We'll figure out the animation so that when it comes to the middle, it gets a little bit bigger. Yeah. So I add, for each one of the entrants, I add them to our, uh, our slot machine. Let's put a note in here. Uh, during spin, need to make uh, center, need to make winning position larger. So let me show you what I've got at this point. And I need to also figure out how to handle no repeats. Not to mention make it stop on a specific place. Uh, now, hey, Sushinator, thank you so much for gifting a tier one to Janesco. That is awesome your first tier your first gift and uh we'll make a donation to black girls code phenomenal i do have more emotes coming i need to i need to place the order with corgi candy but oh yeah we're going to be ordering more lots more emotes um as i rotate out some rotate out some of my existing ones as well banana no banana and small bacon with a gift 
Oh my gosh. Thank you, Small Bacon, for, for gifting that to BB. Yeah. More gift subs. That is phenomenal. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go. Let me show you how this works right now. And then I want to I get your feedback, chat room. I need your help because you are better at JavaScript than me. And we'll, uh, and we'll tune this a little bit, see what it looks like. Maybe we'll even add some music to it. And then, Hopefully get it to stop at the right person's name inside the diagram. And then, Maybe set up some configuration to it? What do you think, chat room? Can you help me out? Can you help me out? Can you help a, can you help a friend? So the page here is a giveaway that we want to start at. And nothing comes up by default here. Uh, no. That's because I went to the wrong page. Giveaway. There we go. So that's where the slot machine's going to go. And you can see SignalR is wired up. Wired up to the thing. Now, I'm going to run the raffle here. And let's throw some folks' name in here. I started with C Sharp Fritz, Quill Tony, Fierce Kittens, Dryad T, Fairy Wings, Svava Blount. Let's put Brave Cobra 2. Let's put... Uh, teal old man and these are just so that we can do the randomization here uh, who else can we put in the list there let's put small bacon I'm just noticing the uh, Stelzy live share isn't debugging what 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 why isn't it debugging tools options live share uh, require guest approval, share web app on debug. True. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Manage shared servers. I don't know why it didn't add it. This is 5,000. All right. I'm going to restart this just so so Brave Cobra can get this as well when it starts up here. Um, uh, Moist Booty Boy. Hello. Yeah, Visual Studio Code does rule. All right, so this is under Giveaway is the page that we go to. So I was firing some names in here. Uh, T old man, Brave Cobra two, um, <laughs> Sushinator. So now it spins, right? Spinning for five hundred is the time. Now it's. I told it that position two. Zero, one, two should be the winner. So we need to figure out how to make sure that it stops on Fierce Kittens. She's clearly not in here. It also didn't repeat properly. Right? If I run that again, and it's going to add all the folks to it again. Failed to save the file. Failed to save the file. Right? There's a space down here where it's not showing. And if I... Let me extend this. Let me make it run for a little bit longer. Um... Right, so I'm opening it up, so it's 5,000, it's five seconds. It's, right, you get this gap at the end, and it's not, it doesn't look like it's a continuous loop. So how do we get that on the end of the loop so that it, it properly looks like it's got a continuous list that it's scrolling? Well, so that when we spin, Well, there's the animation, right? It's animating minus one times the total height. Um, <laughs> it is the same problem as the uh, as the ticker at the top. Um, as the bottom scrolls off, we want to put a copy of all of the list on the bottom. Why not modify the list and just move the names? 
Well, I am moving the names. Right? I'm grabbing... Where'd it go? I'm grabbing the UL and just... Having it scroll by. Have them have, move the names in the order of the list. Um... Yeah, the CSS animation is extremely friendly to the uh, graphics card. Yeah, the re-render is going to be is going to be rough on that. I feel like I could, I could. Where'd it go? I mean, let's look at the two of these and move you back over here. There we go. I feel like we could, um, so there's the DOM element that we're working on, right? Is it looks like that. So for the spin, right, as we write this JavaScript, it could, um, I could copy the UL and just put a copy below it. And each time one of the UL scrolls off, move the copy to the bottom uh, for live sharing yeah um, what do you think chat room how can we how can we do this I think if it makes most sense to just copy the entire UL I have two ULs and when the first one scrolls is completely out. Copy it to the bottom. But then Robert Tables, I'm going to be... Hmm. I'm going to be running into that same issue. So here's the fiddle. The way the fiddle did this so that it looks like it's continuous, right? And the one comes up. Um, first item, it grabs the first one and it appends it to the end of the list. Right, so effectively, right, if I look at... Right, this is inside of a frame. This frame, view frame source. Uh, no, I don't want to view, I want to inspect this frame. Open frame in new tab. Right, and now if I look at this. Right, so there's view box, slot machine, the ULs. See, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And it moves. It should, it should use Translate Y as an example of CSS only infinite slideshow, says Robert Tables. Let's see what we got there. Div class mover one, mover two. I'm assuming it's the same content in both of those. What's mover two? not sure okay hang on text slideshow div and it's got the background and it's the collage oh I see all right so wait mover one animation 12 seconds it, the animation is move slideshow 12 seconds linear infinite all right well where's move slideshow So you don't manipulate the contents of the DOM, you manip manipulate the viewport of it. SQL tools, I have tried. It's really good. I don't want a marquee, Sushinator. And you blow it! Not doing a marquee. Um, but instead of translate X, we want translate Y. Alright, so what if we what if we took that animation? Let's let's try it. it. 
right? And I need it to be able to start and stop. So I need to say animate, right? Well, wait, that's a jQuery animation. Ah, that's not a CSS animation. Hey, Commander. Manipulating the DOM of the data, powering it. Just an idea. Not saying this is perfect. Well, let's give it a try. I'm going to just comment this out because I know this... It does something. It's not perfect yet, but it does something. So if we look at that animation, and if we're going to apply that to the slot machine div, right? Because the view box wrapper position is relative. Um, yeah. Okay. So really, I want to animate the ul's inside of it no the slot machine i want to all right let's do this um var uh slot machine equals get element document get element by oh, there it is all right, and I'm gonna get pound hashtag slot machine. There we go. So now I've got that. So now I should be able to say slot machine dot style dot animation. Yeah. Right, and to turn this on, if we do it like this, move slideshow 12 seconds, and I need to define, I don't want it infinite. Come back to that. Um, but move slideshow is these keyframes down here. So if I add that here, right? Do I? Uh, I forgot the. Now why didn't you animate? Move them over and this. I don't want translate X. I want <clears throat> translate Y. Okay, this should be at, at, so it becomes a CSS. There it goes. You saw how it did the color change. The single at is a uh, razor for changing into C sharp. So that, go away. If I try this now, come on. And slot machine is null. Get element by ID. Oh, tartar sauce. There it goes. Slot machine is null. I just saved it. What do you mean it's null? Get element by ID slot machine. It's right there. ID slot machine. I spelled it wrong. <sighs> All right, try this again. All right, so now it's going. And it's going really, really slow. Teal old man, brave cobra, sushinator, and then does it come back to C sharp Fritz? No. Instead, it recycles at the beginning instead of tacking it on to the end. Right? Hmm. Thinking in terms of popping and concatenating the list, I did this with turnstile list. It was pulling thousands of allies where the data was coming from. It uh, did it inside of Electron app and it was scrollable with the mouse wheel with zero lag. Hmm. At some point, it's putting it back at the end because it's still got... But it's, it, there's no JavaScript. Maybe a strange idea. How about having a mod doing the sound effects via signal R? Um, yes. There And there's actually... There is a Scott command you can fire from there. 
but yeah, we can definitely do that. And then we'll need to write it. Scott! See, there's there you go. There's Scott. Um, so why isn't it? Isn't that just the one image that is scrolling and redisplaying? Yes. But it, it's clearly picking up from the beginning and reshowing it. Right? Um, there's only one, one image and it's 1300 pixels wide. Yeah. It's actually there twice. Actually, it's only, yeah, the background is there and then that'll repeat it right by default. No, we're, we're not paging the Scott. So it's not, it's not repeating here. Right? It's just <clears throat> restarting. Nope, doesn't work if it's embedded in a sentence. Needs to be the command that you send. Um, so that's that's nice, but how do we get it to repeat such that there's two divs, so two instances? No, in this. That second div is this, so that when I mouse over it, it shows the second one, right? If I get rid of that. Right, see, it doesn't do anything. It was the mouse over. There's only one div that matters here. Two instances of the list, copy it. Agreed, let's all just focus. Uh, agreed. So you're suggesting put two instances and then what? It'll just copy it. It'll run it right after it? No, I don't want to copy the them a second time. Um... I'm, I'm trying to follow what Robert Tables is suggesting. Have, it, have two instances of the list. So, put that slot machine on there twice. Yeah, the list is duplicated twice. And it, it moves it to the end. Is what it does. When it, when it disappears. So, okay. Right, so I have the container... So if I take the, I could take the, that container and add a second one to slot machine, right? Document, get element by ID, slot machine, uh, not add, append child. And the new child is going to be, uh, right, can't I say container dot, not, uh, clone node, I could do that. Right? So there's Brave Cobra 2. Sushinator's the last one. C Sharp Fritz, Quiltoni. So this is the second one, but it's going to hit the end and go. <sniffs> do it before it disappears. The name is actually extending past the view frame. Yes. Oh, actually. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't jerk. Dryad, T, Fairy Wings, Fava, Teal Old Man, Brave Cobra, Sushinator, C Sharp Fritz. It didn't, so we do need it in there twice. And it just does it. Okay. All right. Oh, did, oh, it jumped. Did you see the jump? Yeah. Yeah. Rats. So maybe we just copy it down. Right? When it goes off screen. But how do we do that straight from CSS? We are getting there. Yes. 
right? It's um. Hmm. Well, getting it to stop on the correct one, we can figure that out. Right? We we can get that to stop. We know where it needs to stop. We know it needs to stop. Run raffle. It needs to stop at winner position, which is going to be that number times 50. That's the position that it needs to stop on for it to be at the top. And since it's 200 pixels high, we could say that position, right, and add 100 to it, so it's down a little bit, but yeah. Red wire, I'd like the middle to be where the selected one is. Good question. I'd like the middle to be where that is. What happens when there's only one name? They win. It's also kind of lame. But it does, yeah, we do see it. We do see it do that, that lurch, that jerk. Um, there it was, right? Um, and I think, actually, I'm passing the total time in here instead of it being infinite. Can I do this? Hmm. That, that animation, where does it stop after a half a second? I have to divs with a list and then let the second show when there would be a blank space in the first one. Maybe only scroll when they don't all fit on the screen. Well, they should all fit on the, even when they, yeah, we need, we need scrolling. Scrolling's the it, that's part of the shtick. That's part of the effect we're trying to achieve. Um, I, I'm not clear on the animation syntax here. I'm gonna put this back to saying infinite. I'm not sure what the 12 seconds is. I'm not familiar with the animation. And then it stops on the winner. Yes. Might be to have a before and after div and manually fill them with enough names to fill the list and offset so wide to be the first name in the middle. So how... Uh, hmm... Fill the list, fill the slot machine. Yes. Can we just cheat and use jQuery slot? It's wait, hang on. Fossils, there's a jQuery slot machine plugin. That's not slot machine. That'll do. That'll do. Holy crow. Stop the press. jQuery. Yes, please. Using someone else's work is even better. Um, slide the items. Tricky your results. Use the API. Use the API, Luke. Use it. Let's go back over here. Install the component, blah, blah, blah. Include the script located in the dist folder. Make it work. Uh, new slot machine element options. What options do we have? 
Active delay auto spins randomized function returns a number that is going to be called to set the next active element. Eh, whatever. The spin direction, the CSS transition. Can I specify the winner? Active, the, the initial visible element, duration of each spin. Spin to the next or previous element. There we go. Okay. Um, well, right, isn't, is there a thing that's, that I can specify how many, run the carousel mode when creating the machine, me. Number of spins after stop, function that is going to be called, callback after spin, only spin when the machine is inside the viewport, spin direction, the CSS transition. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Maybe maybe we can do something here. Right? So this is only showing one at a time. Right, and I can I could clearly as it's stopping jump forward to the next ones. Yeah. This is three of them side by side. Neat. There's gotta be a way to open that up. Let's take a look. Um, <laughs> I'm going to open the folder. And I'm going to cheat and go into my node modules for jQuery slot machine dist. And I'm, they said just to grab slot machine JS. That's it. I mean, okay. I'll just grab slot machine min JS then. Just paste that in there. All right, so if I come back over here, can I get rid of these two? Maybe, and then just bring in slot machine. You can manually stop it too. Can't seem to get rid of jQuery. No, we'll get rid of it. It's easy to do when they just display one item from a list and then just move the current index of the list, transforming the next one into frame. Yeah. Okay. So now it's telling me you can work by calling the lib in your app. Document get element ID my machine. Const machine equals new slot machine element and then options. And then machine dot. Da, 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 da. Previous next run. Okay. So on run raffle, we're adding the elements in. We don't need to put them in there twice, so we don't need this. So then spin becomes not this. I can actually kind of get rid of all this other stuff up top here, can I? Okay. Uh, let's comment it, that out just so it's still there in case this doesn't work, you know? Um, yeah, let's do that. And they define the slot machine as div with divs inside of it. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll comment this out for right now. And let's call this JQ machine. And then I'll put inside of that the elements. So I'm going to get JQ machine. Right, this way I can kind of fall back. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we're going to look for now instead of slot machine UL, JQ machine. That could be 
get element by ID, but it, it's okay. So we'll make a div inside of it and append that. And I should be able now. Okay. Oh, it does want, <clears throat> if you per prefer jQuery style, then import the wrapper after the jQuery library. I don't care about jQuery style. So const machine equals new slot machine. Let's just see what it does. And then I should be able to say machine dot run, right? Right? Where'd it go? New slot, slot machine, active, whatever, blah, blah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> new slot machine, that's it. Is that it? Was that the method? Good to see you, uh, teal old man. Rigged? Oh, it's absolutely rigged. It's rigged because I've already done it. Uh, properties, methods, shuffle. Start spinning the machine. Ah, okay. Set the number of spins and then the callback when the machine stops. All right, so shuffle. Yeah. So where is it? I don't have it running right now. Let's rerun it. Thanks so much for joining us, Steel Old Man. I appreciate you stopping by. You can manually stop it too, says President Not Sure. I need to add a back door so people can PayPal me for a better chance to win. I like the way you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking. So everybody pays me money. <laughs> no. All right. Um, give away. There's nothing here. That's okay. Console. Let's move this over here so you can see it. No, I want to move it over there. So now if I say run raffle. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Oops. No. No, no, don't do that. You buy a building for C Sharp Fritz University. The legal way. Yes. That didn't work at all. P-Man34, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. That didn't work at all. No. No good, very bad. No, no, no. So we put we put a div, JQ machine. I should clear out. Uh, I don't... I don't need this right now. Don't need that right now. I'm just trying to run the raffle and get it, get the animation working, and then we'll trigger it from Signal R. Um, da, 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 total height equals entrance dot length. I don't care about the total height now. I don't care about those. Um, um, there we go. What I should do is I should say before this starts, container dot uh, clear. Right, I want to remove all the nodes. Ugh, I would have to remove childs. How many times? Uh, who's this King four forty? Am I sponsored by Azure? Uh, it's not really sponsored, yeah. What is CSHTML? This is a uh, server-side Razor syntax. It allows us to mash up C-sharp with HTML. So we can flip-flop back and forth between HTML, CSS, and in this case, I'm down at the bottom writing JavaScript. So, um, adding in the names at the new slot machine. Yeah, right? So it adds it in again, and then we kind of Let's, let's shuffle 10 times. Right? 
and it, it that was lame. So run raffle gets the the machine object and adds in all the stuff, and then we should try to spin at that point, which calls machine dot shuffle. Does it work through WebSocket? That's what uh, SignalR does that to work with that. Uh, Hussein, welcome. Thank you for the follow. I don't remember much jQuery, but there is no clear method on the container. Um, yeah, I thought there is. There might be, but that's a. This is a a parent node, right? I could I could turn that into jQuery by going like this. Uh, I don't want to clear Q. I don't want to remove either. But I, I don't think clear is going to clear out the stuff inside of it. Yeah. Well, I removed jQuery from this page. Put it back in. Yep. Clear is not a function. It doesn't know how to do that. I would have to go through a for loop and remove them. And that's just awful. You don't develop an ASP.NET? Not a problem. And I'm actually not using too much ASP.NET right now. I'm, I'm knee deep in JavaScript. Uh, an empty parens. Um, empty parens. Well, the, I, I did that. We all need to stack overflow right now. Why? Right, so when I try and run that, it, it isn't actually doing the shuffle. Doing the truffle shuffle. Okay. I've got a div, and I've got the divs inside of it. How to check if a PHP array has any value set. Oh, dear Lord. They did it a day early. They're April Fools. Oh, Nick. Oh, Nick. It's kind of impressive. Um... We need to Microsoft Docs right now. Be more open and try to bing a bit. Bingle it. Spin five. Yeah, I, so I was... Hang on, back over to here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pass the count in here. But it... <laughs> what hat am I wearing today? This is the Philadelphia Philly spring training hat. Uh, we also need a unicorn. Ah, no, no, no. no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Um... <laughs> Am I, am I missing something here? jQuery slot machine min. jQuery slot machine min. Document ready function, no. Pound my machine slot machine with the options. The initial visible element. Zero means the first one. So I've removed all of my CSS so that it's just this div and I'm adding the elements into it. Let's go over to this. Let's take a look at this. Over here, this thing. Okay, so there's a content. Div ID equals plain machine. Style overflow hidden. I'm assuming slot machine container. There it is. So new slot machine, active one, delay, auto. What's auto? Runs the carousel mood when creating the machine. Mm. Duration in milliseconds of each spin. And it defaults to 200. Uh, 
No, we don't need jQuery. You need to see when I reply to someone else and just skip me. Okay. Um, let's see here. I jQuery should be the first. Yeah, jQuery isn't required for this. If you prefer jQuery style, then import the wrapper after the jQuery. Do I need to include jQuery? All right. I mean, let's bring in jQuery. I mean, I don't. I'm not opposed to it. And actually, I think I already did, didn't I? I did. And it, but it needs. Let's put that in first, like that. Right, and run the raffle, and pfft. yeah, it just kind of. There is no error. It just, it just looks like junk. Look, and then it kind of does it. Right. Um. The initial visible uh, visible visible element auto. Spins, number of spins after stop in carousel mode. So there's the properties, methods. Machine, shuffle, starts spinning the machine. Machine stop, manually stops the machine. Yeah. It. Why isn't this... Hmm. Nick Bavetta. Thank you for the follow. I see that. Somebody created... Yeah, yeah, let's see what you're doing there with the fillies. It, it's not... So document query selector plain machine. Then it creates a new slot machine object on plain machine. All right. Let, you know what? Yeah, let's uh, copy in these settings and see what it does with those settings. Uh, where'd it go? Down here. Machine shuffle. Right? I mean... There it goes. No. No. Team, I don't think this is working. Is not a simple animation plugin. Well, good. Change to Chrome? No. It's working in Firefox. Does Signal R work uh, both ways? I can send messages to the server and receive messages from the server. Yes. Um, is there like a wiki or some documentation here or something? No. It, that looks nice, but... It's sure not doing. Uh, yes, that's right, King. I do use I do use Firefox. I use whatever browser makes sense for me to use. So, I've used Edge. I've used Chrome. I've used all of them at some point or another on stream. But I prefer Firefox right now. Inspect the element holding it in the example. Yeah, we. Um, I, I actually I don't want to just inspect it. I want to look at the source code. Flight example. Travel to, here's plane machine, div class. Right? So const plane machine equals, doc, well, this is the code script. This is the, what's actually running. Okay. Plane machine equals document query selector plane machine. So it's got that. New slot machine. And it's not even calling shuffle. It's just saying new slot machine. Um, right? 
it's just doing this. You're kidding. Nope, King 40. King 440. I use whatever browser I'd like. This is my stream. It's not owned by, by my employer. Um, I get that it's randomly scrolling back and forth in the list. Is there is there something where plain machine is a a certain height or something? And I I feel like this has taken us four steps backward and doesn't solve our problem. It looks nice, but no. JavaScript slot machine effect. Can you delete HTML trav to what? Oh dear God. Um, starts a slot, stops a slot, finds the final position of the slot when it's stopped. That's not bad. What do we have there in a code pen? Cool. Okay. I don't need as many rings. Not too bad. I like the perspective. That's kind of cool. So what if we took this down to just one ring? To rule them all. Yeah. All right. Spin zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. But how does it know? That's the one you posted about an hour ago. I didn't say the word. Did I say the word? Did I say JavaScript? Um, ring margin zero, height 80, width 90, float left. I don't want it to float left. I would want it to be in the center. Is that gonna go in the center? Now I, there it is, fantastic, okay. So how do we set up what's on the reels? Oh, it, it has the numbers through 11 as different CSS elements. Ugh. Mm. No more horse, please. Oh. Show inner workings? What's that do? Oh, look. Oh, wow. Very cool, but... Uh, uh, too much. I'm not going to be able to put a couple hundred people in that slot machine. How can I retrieve a, achieve a slot machine spe a spinner effect with CSS3? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to... 
And this is that one from Jose. No. I like the way that I was going with that, that first one that we were looking at. And there's no sample to see there. No. How about this one? Style and living, yeah? No, no sample. No, I'm gonna need to spend some time fiddling through this and try and figure it out. How does this even start? Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to need to start over on this. No, we're not doing it in Flash Jumbo. Um, let's make it in Blazor and use C-Sharp instead. Um, I'm going to be running into the same problem. I need to duplicate and move move things around and I feel like um, I feel like I feel like where I had before was closer to what I want and trying to use the jQuery one that should have been drop dead simple and literally drop in and it just works doesn't work I'm not going to use it um, that's a shame looks like a nice effect but it does not do doesn't do it as nicely as it says it does so I need jQuery and it was jQuery easing was the other one that I had but I've already got it copied in so did you find out at least a few things that maybe aren't the best solutions yeah sure what do we have there Mordecai um, slots item div 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 what the heck oh it's in pug Add class, animate. Um, neat. Yeah. Some of the next projects should be a redo of my website. Just went there to have a look at the 2019 stream. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, I'm actually... I'm going to bail out here. This is not going anywhere near where I wanted to. I've got other stuff I've got to get done today. And uh, I've got to fly to Seattle. So what I'm thinking... I'm going to go back to the way that I had it. Because that was actually really close. Pure CSS says it has one. The Gankable has the Gankable player. No JavaScript. All right, how do I start it? How do I restart it? Get gift. It's not clear how I restart it. Lever hole. Whirl. Span class ball. Yeah, how do I restart it? Yep, flying to Seattle again. Um, who is that? Angry Healer. Thank you for the follow. I, I click it and it goes. Where's it got that click on it? Where's it doing the click handler? Hey, Sally. Yep, I'll be in Seattle very, very soon.
Background image is an SVG. Don't get me wrong, I like the rotation here. It's pretty cool. But it, once again, it's quite clearly you have 12 elements. That's it. Right? When I have 150 people in the in the raffle and it always stops on grandma's socks if you noticed. close so yeah this is this is not going to do what I need I need to go back to the other one and be and have it shuffle and have it know okay you're on the last spin here's the element you need to stop on and slow down as it approaches that we're gonna need to write this by hand these things are not doing what I need and we'll do the CSS animation to make that happen. Yep. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to roll back. I am rolling back to what we had before. Kind of coaches. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. I'm going to bring that jQuery easing back in here. Get rid of this. And... We need to change back to from this back to that I'm going to put the other and I think the keyframes the CSS keyframes were close were close but not quite uh, it was this we need to get rid of yeah, and I'll finish rolling this back. And I'm I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to take this offline and and get to it. This mm, did not land where I wanted to today. I'm sorry. But I'm going to set us up. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to check in any source code yet either because it's not it's not working. Um, not just not working, but it's not set up quite right yet. So let's set up for a raid and let's head. Let's get folks over to Noop Cat. There's the raid call. Copy one of those two lines of text. If you're a subscriber, grab that top line of text that includes the raid bots. If you're not a subscriber, grab that second line of text with the with the missiles, with the bombs, and we're gonna go over and we're gonna raid our friend Noop Cat. <clears throat> Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. I'm going to take a shot at this while I'm on my flight tonight. See what we can do to clean this up and get it get it finished in a better slot machine format. Um, very last no op cat stream for a whole month. Yeah. So check it out. Don't have to do anything to get in that raid. Just sit right back and you'll be magically whisked by the power of Twitch over to no op cat stream. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. I will see you next time. Um, and that'll be on Thursday. Tuesday, we'll have the Visual Studio 2019 launch. Thursday, we'll have, uh, we'll try and find a guest to have, to join us. And I'll, I'll drop a message out there as to who it will be. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining. Say hi to Noopcat for me. And I'll see you next time. Take care.